Подсадь перебу. What's up beautiful people, welcome back on Ichi Luxury, your girl Rachel Sangara here with yet another hair video. Uh, you've already seen the title so you already know what this is about. I'd like to thank you, every single one of you for taking the time and watching this video. If you're a retur returning subscriber, thank you so much. Please share with your other friends and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And if this is your first time on my channel, Thank you very much. Please don't leave it that, leaving a comment and subscribe. So, today I am going to recreate a look. I'm sure you all know Vera Sudika. She's this Kenyan um, celebrity. She's an entrepreneur, a musician now, and a lot of other things. Uh, social media celebrity and uh, whatever. <laughs> So today I am going to recreate a look that I really liked. I watched this video. It's called Nalia. Yes, um, I just bumped into it, and I really love how she looked. Like she looked really beautiful. She has gorgeous hair, and I decided to recreate that. You should check her out. She's absolutely beautiful. With that, uh, any further ado, let's just jump right into the hair tutorial. I am going to make this video, this hair, sorry, as straight and sleek as hers really beautiful as you can see my hair is not even combed so I'm gonna um, start by even brushing it so that you guys can see what okay so I'm sorry I look crazy right now and I will be looking this side all the time that's because my mirror is this side and I kind of need to look into the mirror for me to recreate the look I hope it won't bother you so let's start The first thing I'm gonna start doing is recreating her, you know, the baby hair, the way she did them. I've already installed my hair. For some of you who, are, who don't know how to install the hair, I will leave some link where you can see how I installed my hair. And um, let's start. So I'm gonna start with my baby hair. I've already said that, sorry. <laughs> So I'm basically just doing my baby hairs. I'm laying them down, cutting some longer ones and taking my foam, my mousse and laying them some more with a brush. You already know this, I do this all the time on my channel. And for some places that are kind of hard to deal with, you can just use your got to be glued. But basically it's not magic, it's something that I do all the time. If you watch my videos that is. Got to be glued again on the side and voila. Alright, so um, I finished with the baby hairs as you can see. I am going to brush my hair now. <laughs> so this hair is really big actually and I need to make it really sleek. I guess that's where the challenge is. I've had this wig for almost a year now and I am gonna try to make it look as new as hers yep I know I've had this unit for I don't know how many weeks or months without combing it and I just combed it and this is what came out. So I'm just gonna start by spraying some water in my hair because um, I just need hair, I mean water to prepare me from blow drying my hair. Plain water, nothing more. So I'm taking this uh, blow dryer, you can take any normal blow dryer but I love this one because it has a brush on it and it's just easier to work with. I started with it anyway, so it's just gonna prepare the way for me and prepare it for the blow drying and the next step, slight ironing. But yeah, right now I'm just using this brush, you can get it from anywhere in town. 
or you can just go straight to a blow dryer it depends on you because i just switched i realized that blow dryer will do a better job although it's harder to work with i won't win with a blow dryer after that i'm then parting my hair she had a side line so i'm just putting my line on the side and making sure that it's well done and then <laughs> making sure that the line is well done again because it has to be really clear and then just brush it through and i'm gonna take some um sorry some more water on my side uh, you will notice that i didn't apply any oil that is just because i prefer my hair with not you know with less minimum product okay um for the look that i was going for it would have been better for me to apply some oils and there and products but i just don't like it when my products are packed with hair i mean with product then i am fly tyroning my hair and you're gonna need some clips here and there i'm gonna just move on and start fly tyroning my hair Notice here that it would have been better for you to use a hot comb. A hot comb could have done a better job, but I don't have a hot comb. I'm planning to get one soon, but I don't have any yet. So divide your hair into, in, into sections and start by the hair in the back and start flat, I mean flat iron, flat ironing side, um, section by section. flat ironing is like one of the easiest things to do but it takes time because you have to go over and over but you can see how it's making the hair looking more slick again if you like oil just put oil it's um it's all depend on you that's not what i wanted although i tried to, uh, tried to rec recreate somebody else's look i didn't want my wig to be packed with oil so i did not put the oil tell me let me know if you want me to do an entire video on how to fly tire on your hair then i will make it in less speed i put in speed because i wanted the video to be shorter because it was gonna be like 30 minutes <laughs> and uh yeah i had to make it around like 10 minutes or so so i just flat iron it took me a long time and i was really tired because the hair was really thick Voila. Then I'm gonna take my foundation, take the foundation that is your skin color and your brush, um, preferably your concealer brush, and go ahead in your line. Go ahead and make the line more visible. You're gonna see in a second how this line that wasn't really showing is gonna show better because of the foundation. You can, you can actually use powder too, but I prefer using cream. You can also use liquid, it all just depends on you, but just take something your skin tone, your, your shade. <laughs> At this stage, we're pretty much done. You might just need to take some mousse. I took just a little bit of mousse on my parti parting side. You can put a lot of mousse, it all depends on you. Now, the thing is, if you want it as flat as she was wearing it, you're gonna need to wear, you put a big amount of mousse. But I did not feel the need to, because I didn't want it to be as flat at the end of the day. <laughs> so that's what the hair is looking like at the end. You can all see how it looks. This hair is almost a year old, guys, and look, look at that. It's just smooth and, 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 and clear and beautiful and tangled free and big and i was just like oh my god i feel like a bomba latina right now <laughs> all right juicy girls if you if you uh want this week feel free to contact me on the email that i'm gonna leave below i'd like to hear from you what do you think about the hair do, what, what do you do you like it would you like me to do something else with this hair next time just let me know in the comments guys that's it for today um did i achieve the look did i got it right what do you guys think is it beautiful <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments always and 
It took a little longer than I expected. That's because this wig is really thick. It's like, <laughs> really thick. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this is one of the wigs in my collection. I designed it myself from scratch. So I will leave an email down here in the info section where you can actually order for the wig if you want it uh, or if your friend like it. Um, you just uh, email me. Sorry, my website still not running yet, but it will come someday. <laughs> All right.